Yesterday in San Francisco, Sam Altman walked on stage and casually told every developer on Earth that their entire tech stack just expired. The message was clear. Everything you thought you knew about building apps is about to change because OpenAI just flipped the script. Instead of making one more chatbot, they're turning ChatGPT into something bigger, something closer to an operating system for the entire internet. When ChatGPT became the App Store, imagine opening your laptop in a few years and realizing something's changed. You don't have a dozen tabs open anymore. No Chrome, no Spotify, no calendar app cluttering your screen. You just have one window, C-H-A-T-G-P-T. You type, play some music, and your favorite playlist starts. You ask, book me a flight to San Francisco next Friday, and it does, checking your calendar, comparing prices, and even picking the seat you like. No logins, no forms, no endless tabs, just one conversation handling everything. That's the world OpenAI is trying to build. ChatGPT isn't a chatbot anymore. It's evolving into a command center for your entire digital life. Websites and apps don't disappear. They just move behind the curtain, automated and invisible. You don't browse, you instruct. You don't tap, you delegate. It's bold, efficient, and just a little unnerving. It's like if Siri, Alexa, and your entire phone decided to merge into one hyper-competent assistant that knows your schedule, your spending habits, and the memes you laughed at last night. The great app resurrection. Remember GPT plugins? They came and went faster than most people's gym memberships. Then came GPTS. The same idea dressed up in a newer, shinier package. They disappeared too. Now OpenAI is back with ChatGPT apps, its third attempt at making this concept work. And maybe this time, it actually will. For now, only big names have access. Companies like Zillow, Expedia, and Notion. But the plan is to open the gates to everyone soon. When that happens, the entire landscape could change overnight. Imagine asking ChatGPT to find you a house by the bay, calculate the mortgage rate, and schedule the movers, all within a single conversation. For developers, this is not just another feature. It is a gold rush. ChatGPT already has 800 million weekly users, and whoever builds the right app first gets instant access to that entire audience. This is not evolution. This is empire building. The Skeptic's Corner Of course, there's the small issue of usability. Typing a novel just to play a song sounds like something only a software engineer's mom would do. Sometimes you just want to tap a button, not draft an essay. So yes, ChatGPT apps could crush complex workflows, real estate searches, custom trip planners, or finance tools. But nobody wants to prompt engineer their way to checking the weather. The future might not be about replacing every app. It's about hiding them. The interfaces disappear, but the functionality stays. And OpenAI wants to be the one window through which you see everything. New API array, GPT-5 Pro, and Sora 2. If ChatGPT apps are the shiny front end, OpenAI's new APIs are the nuclear engine underneath. Meet GPT-5 Pro, the newest high-end model built for massive reasoning, longer memory, and professional-grade AI pipelines. And right beside it is Sora 2, OpenAI's jaw-dropping video generator. Sora 2 costs about 50 cents per second of high-quality video. That's roughly $1,800 for a one-hour film, so basically the same price as a used Honda Civic or a single corporate AI demo. But quality-wise, it's next level. Imagine cranking out a cinematic trailer or ad in minutes with lighting, camera motion, even reflections, and no camera crew required. That's not just a flex, it's the beginning of Hollywood as a service, AI for the rest of us. Of course, not everyone has $1,800 lying around for every creative whim, so OpenAI is also adding smaller, cheaper image and voice models. They're the light versions, which are less GPU hungry but still solid. This makes the ecosystem more inclusive. Anyone can use it, including students, indie devs, and small startups can finally experiment without torching their credit cards. It's smart business. They just created an on-ramp for everyone, then scaled them up to the Pro Tools once their projects exploded. Just like Apple did with iOS apps, OpenAI is building the full staircase, the robot that reviews your code. Every developer dreams of one thing, skipping code reviews without the guilt. Well, that dream finally has a name, Codec GitHub Actions. This new integration automatically kicks in every time you open a pull request. It scans your code line by line, checking for quality issues, potential bugs, and messy logic. It even reviews your documentation and security practices while you're busy getting another cup of coffee. In short, 
It's like having a senior engineer built right into your workflow, just without the sarcasm, burnout, or passive-aggressive comments on your PR. But it doesn't stop there. Codec Actions can also detect vulnerabilities, optimize performance, and keep your repository from slowly collapsing into a pile of unmaintainable spaghetti. It's the kind of tool that can make a two-person startup operate with the efficiency of a 50-person dev team. And because it's integrated directly into GitHub, there's no need to install some sketchy third-party extension or spend hours configuring CI pipelines. It's DevOps with a brain, one that doesn't sleep, doesn't complain, and never takes vacation days. Agent Kit, the AI construction zone. But the announcement that really melted everyone's GPUs was Agent Kit. It's a brand new toolkit that lets developers design, deploy, and manage AI agents without duct taping 50 APIs together. Think of it like N8N or Zapier, but supercharged for the AI era. You get a flowchart style canvas where you visually build an agent's logic, connect inputs, outputs, and actions. You could whip up a customer support bot that handles refunds, schedules deliveries, and updates CRM records in minutes. There's a catch though, every no-code dream hits a ceiling. Eventually, you'll need a real developer to untangle the spaghetti, rewrite it in Python, and make it scale. But that doesn't kill the idea. It just makes Agent Kit a prototype factory. For early stage teams or experimenters, it's a legit productivity rocket. The quiet rival, JetBrains and Juni. While everyone's drooling over OpenAI, another player just slid into the arena. JetBrains, the company behind IntelliJ and PyCharm, launched its own AI coding agent called Juni. It lives inside the IDE, reads your entire code base, and actually understands the project's context. You can assign it multiple coding jobs simultaneously, and it completes them asynchronously while you work on something else. The creator of the code report tried it on a geospatial side project and found it slightly slower than other CodeGen tools, but much more accurate in big projects. That trade-off makes sense. Accuracy over speed is priceless when your repo has more lines than your thesis. So while OpenAI builds the infrastructure for everyone, JetBrains is quietly turning your IDE into a coworker. They are both two sides of the same revolution. One focuses on platform, the other on precision. What this all means. If 2023 was the year of the chatbot, and 2024 was the year of the AI copilot, then 2025 is the year of the agent ecosystem. OpenAI isn't just making tools, it's making infrastructure. Your future app might not live on the App Store or Play Store. It'll live inside a chat window. That's a real paradigm shift. The web is no longer something you click through. It's something you talk to. And with that change comes something much bigger than convenience. Control. If ChatGPT becomes the interface for everything, music, shopping, coding, and communication, then OpenAI becomes the middleman of the digital world. It sounds efficient, even elegant, but it also centralizes power in a way that feels uncomfortably familiar. One day, you might notice that you don't open websites anymore. You open OpenAI. It's the same story big tech has followed for years. Start as a platform and eventually become the platform. The developer's dilemma. For developers, the move is clear. Either build inside ChatGPT or risk getting left behind. This isn't about one app anymore. It's about where attention lives. And right now, hundreds of millions of people are chatting with an interface that is slowly absorbing the entire internet. Tools like Codec Actions and Agent Kit make it possible to build faster than ever, but they also blur the line between engineer and operator. Very soon, writing code might not mean typing into an editor at all. It might mean wiring agents together, adjusting prompts, and debugging logic through visual workflows. It is exciting and a little dystopian at the same time. We are automating ourselves into the future and hoping we still have a seat at the keyboard when we get there. So that is everything from OpenAI Dev Day 2025. ChatGPT is now an app platform. GPT-5 Pro and Sora 2 are officially live. Codec Actions can review your code. Agent Kit can build your agents. It is wild, it is brilliant, and it is slightly unsettling. But one thing is certain. The future of software will not be written in code alone. It will be spoken, built, and imagined into existence.